another episode of Wig Rigs, and today we've got this full 79 series touring package. So on this back of the 79, we've got our XT Premium tray, and this customer is actually optioned to take the water tank out and get a longer drawer in the back. It actually also has a headboard fuel tank in the front. With the headboard fuel tank, we get an extra 95 litres uh, auxiliary, which is plumbed into the main tank of the vehicle. Starting at the back, you've got your LED auto lamp tail lights, you've got the road vision uh, reverse lights. You've also got a long drawer at the back here with a removable table if need be. You've got space for your spare wheel, which is also adjustable, suited up to a 35 inch tire or 37 if you're gonna go that big. And then we've also got the double jerry can holder in the back here as well. Now this cruiser had a reverse camera um, with a head unit. So we then relocated that reverse camera as well. On the driver side of the 79, you've got your under tray boxes. On the headboard here, you've got your filler for the diesel tank, the auxiliary diesel tank. Now that's all baffled uh, to make sure that sloshing of diesel around uh, is kept to a minimum. And when talking about diesel tanks and stuff like that, we're keeping it up forward, up front, uh, in front of the rear axle. And it's just a use of, uh, of dead space. Otherwise, we can chuck a 30 or 40 litre headboard water tank in there as well, depending on the vehicle that you have. On the roof, we've got just our tri-bar system, just a standard uh, uh, three-bar roof rack, which you easily mount your rooftop tents or tie down ladders or work materials. Um, any sort of accessories, it's easy as to tie down on there. Doors have been two-packed and color-coded to suit the vehicle. This is something that we can do, and it just makes you know this whole setup just stand out and look a hell of a lot nicer than just a black setup. He's also then gone for the, uh, the Mannix black finish, which just has a bit of a texture to it and just makes it a little bit more durable. On the driver's side, interior. The customer's option for an Evercool 40 litre drawer fridge. Really handy uh, if you're doing long trips and stuff. It can be used as your beer fridge or a freezer uh, to freeze your meats or whatever you, whatever you need it for. Just a little bit of extra storage uh, on those bigger trips. And then there's also options to draw next to it as well, just to fill the space and store whatever you need. As part of all of our drawer systems, the base on top is actually standard uh, in this sort of setup. Uh, perfect to, to place any big items on there as well. Bracing is always, up. we're renowned for our bracing and our canopies and, and how durable they are. So you've got your upright braces, you've got your 45 degree angle braces on here as well, or your door bracing, which is standard. In the door here, we've got mounted the hardcore tricolor lights, switching on for the door here. You've got on and off, you've got dimmable, uh, and then you can also change the color to white, orange, or the mix of both. This customer is also option for our central locking, which is in the canopy. Now, one reason why bracing is so useful is we chuck nut sets through the whole lot. You've got nut set system on the roof, you've got nut set system on the down, on the um, uprights of the canopy. Because of that, we're able to mount this 200 amp hour slimline battery from Enerdrive. Now, that just bolts straight into the nut sets of our upright, um, which makes it for an easy install, it's accessible, um, and it's not taking up too much space. Now, this would otherwise just be dead space, uh, as the draw system can't go all the way to the end of the canopy because you need to make clearance for your seals of the door and gas struts. So that's why we've chucked that here, so we can get a full-length Evercool drawer into the back of the other fridge on over the other side. Now in the roof up here, you've also got cable tracks for all your cabling. Um, now this big cable from the battery obviously can't fit in there, but you've also got a whole bunch of other cables for the lighting, central locking, and other battery equipment that's able to go through this tracking and zip tie it all together, so it's all neat and out of the way. Um, so that way you see you know, minimal cabling, uh, if not any. Now this customer's gone for the BTEC Slim from Drive. This is a 200 amp hour battery, purely to because he wanted to fit the Evercool 40 litre drawer fridge on this side as well, which is a long drawer. People don't realize how long these fridges are. And that butts all the way into the 85 litre Bushman fridge on the other side. So the battery had to go somewhere. Your conventional battery is quite large and that wouldn't fit without compromising draw space. So the slimline battery is a perfect option and again, just bolts straight into the upright of our bracing. Now, as I said at the start of this video, this customer has gone for the full touring package. You've got two fridges, you've got massive power system, you've got storage space. So on this side, we've got a Bushman 85 litre upright fridge. We've also then got a pantry here as well. In this pantry, we've included the Travel Buddy oven. Uh, and then we've also got another table underneath here as well. Now this is all locked using our turn lock style locking to make sure that that's not going to move around, especially with all the weight that goes in it. 
Bushman 85 litre fridge, uh, just pretty much the standard setup there. And then underneath the fridge, using you know the dead space that there is, uh, we've got a little cup and drawer prep area here with a stainless stainless top. This big unit here is the Energiver Venture power system. So this power system has a 2000 watt inverter. It's got side marine battery monitoring. It's got a 40 amp plus DC to AC charger. We can charge up to 50 amps. It's also then got a 40 amp AC charger as well. So you can plug it at home, charge your batteries while the car's stationary. So with this system, the side marine battery monitoring monitors all the ins and outs, solar, AC current, DC current, um, anything that's coming in, measuring how long it's going to take to charge up the battery to full. And then once that car's on the move or once you're using accessories, it'll let you know how long until the battery's died. Uh, that's all monitored on this screen, which give you a percentage. And then that's all mounted in this one unit. So there's no cables you see, there's no, or it's all pre-wired, all your circuit breakers, all your fuses, all pre-wired. And then that just connects to any battery you want to pair it with. Generally, you want to charge, you want to be pairing it to about 200 amp hour lithium battery at the minimum um, to ensure that, you know, your 2000 watt, 2000 watt inverter is going to be running correctly. We use all the Energive power systems and again, they just bolt straight into our uh, modular mounting channel as well as the uprights in the canopy. Hardcore light on the door again, uh, just to add that little bit of extra light. Um, and then, yeah, this is pretty much a full touring package with a big 12 volt system. You've got tons of storage in the fridges. You've got tons of storage in your pantry as well. So a quick look at the latest 79 build rolling out of the shop. Customers picking up this afternoon. We think it looks great with the color-coded doors and the Mannix black finish. As I said at the start of this video, the Turing package is something that's becoming more and more popular. Big 12-volt systems from Drive, Double fridges, drawer space, pantries, ovens, tables. You know, you name it, we can do it. These Turing packages is becoming more and more popular these days. So if you'd like to see more of this build, jump onto our Facebook, jump onto our Instagram, send us an email at info at wiggleyengineering.com.au if you're after some pricing of yourself. Jump on our website, you'll see all the information about how our trays are made, how our canopies are made, pricing both of those items and your previous builds and stuff like that. Stay tuned on our YouTube channel for more Wig Rig episodes. Uh, we go through every build that comes out of our shop.